Hello, my name is Becky, and I'm excited that you're here, and also not. I'm really sorry if you're going through um, parasite problems and gut problems. It definitely is terrible. However, I'm really excited that you're here because I think that this video can actually really help you to heal. Um, and there's not very much content out there, so I want to be able to share a video that I wish that I had found um, and would have been helpful to me. So, let's see here. So I wanted to make this video like for a really long time. I've been feeling cruddy for like two years trying to fix it and I tried a bajillion different things. I've read hundreds if not thousands of articles trying to figure out what was going on with my health and I could not figure it out. I would think that I had got it on the head and then I was wrong and I, I've been experiencing problems for a long, long time. I probably haven't felt good since I was about 17 and I'm about 25 now. Um, the worst of it happened about a year ago. I had absolutely no energy at all, especially not for a 25-year-old. I was going to bed at 8 o'clock, waking up every morning not feeling like I had slept. Um, I was allergic to a ton of different things, and I wasn't even necessarily sure what I was allergic to. I kept trying to cut out different things, and yet I would still get sick. Um, so I was not happy. I was having cognitive issues. Um, I felt like I had brain fog all the time. I was depressed and I usually am a really positive person but anything that was being said to me I would just take it in like the most negative possible way and I was just miserable and I felt like something was really wrong with my health and if I couldn't figure it out I was not going to live a long life. So. I was really at my ends with, with this. So I first thing, um, tried to change my diet because I knew there was something wrong. I was not digesting any of my food and I was having like diarrhea like three or four times a day. It was terrible. None of my food was getting digested. So first thing I did was I switched over to the keto diet. Um, I had heard that you know low carbs, low sugar was good for your gut. I was thinking maybe candida. Um, SIBO along those lines that there was something going on that was not right so I tried keto and I got a little better but it wasn't like tremendous I maybe got like 30% better um, next up a few months down the line I tried carnivore for a few months which sounds crazy but you start doing crazy things when you want to get healthy um, I noticed I got better but again it was maybe 50-60% it still was not what I wanted and if you look at like the Meat Heals site, a lot of people are ranting and raving about it and saying how it completely changed their lives and that was what I wanted and that didn't really happen for me. So I, um, by the way, I did go to the doctor, especially when things were really bad and she just thought I was like dehydrated and it was really frustrating. So it's like, I know what's going on and I think that the doctors really aren't caught up with all this stuff. So it can be a really frustrating experience. Um, I did ask to have to be tested and the test came back negative which was like heart-wrenching for me because I had I was so sure that this was it and I was seeing them in my stool like I know that I didn't eat something that looked like that you know and it, she just kind of made me feel like I was crazy and so and I after that test I was like well maybe I'm wrong maybe this is just the way I'm gonna feel for the rest of my life but a couple months down the line I started to see what I had seen before and I knew that I have parasites and it was terrible. <laughs> um, so I started reading a really good book. Actually first off the reason why I'm like absolutely positive that I have them is because I ate something that had like a ton of garlic on it and the next day I had like five rope worms in my stool which was like very concerning but also kind of like relieving because it started my whole journey again with this and I feel pretty confident now that I'm going to show you guys. Um, so first off, big problem with people with parasites is that they usually have low acid um, in their stomachs. <laughs> so if you have low acid in your stomachs that means that you're not going to be able to absorb your food very good so you're not going to be getting all your nutrition. Your food is also be going into your small intestine as big pieces. It's not going to be digested like it's supposed to. So that will cause it to ferment and it will allow bad bacteria to start growing in there, which is not good at all. Um, 
So that causes a lot of bacterial problems, um, and not having acid allows parasite eggs to go into your stomach and not be killed like they should have been, but to then actually go into your small intestine and start to live there. Um, they also cause leaky gut, and it's nearly impossible to try and heal that if you don't uh, fix this problem first. You can try anything, and it just doesn't work. So you really need to kick these guys out before you can get to your optimal health. Let's see here. Um, first off, I want to show you guys a couple of things that did not work for me, um, just in case you're thinking about going that route. Um, I tried these candida pills. I don't know if you can see that. Um, they really, I mean, they might have done something, but it was not enough to be noticeable. And you want a solution. You don't want to just be taking a bunch of pills that are going to be costing you a lot of money in the end. I've spent a lot of money on all this stuff. Um, I also tried this stuff called Intestine Pro. Both of these have had great reviews on Amazon, so by all means, they might work for you, but they just did not work for me. Um, this one made me constipated, and that's like one of the worst things when you are trying to detox and get these out of you because they have viruses and heavy metals that they're going to be releasing, um, and this is not conducive to getting them out. Let's see here. Now, one thing that did work um, was this Paragard. I took this for about a month. Um, I don't know if it's just because I have such a bad problem or whatnot, but it did not do the job. Um, it started it and it definitely got me going, but um, I don't know. I don't know about taking this long term because I feel like after a while it kind of made my stomach acid even worse. Um, I, at a certain point I was feeling like my food was just sitting there and it was no longer like being digested, which is not cool. But with this stuff you're supposed to put about 30 drops into your water four times a day and you're supposed to take it for quite a while. Like anything suggests like taking it for three months. However, I just didn't feel like my body could handle taking this for that long. Um, but I'm gonna keep it and take it like a little bit in the morning every day. Um, I don't see it be harmful. It could probably be helpful like that. Um, let's see here. Now there was a really good book that I read. And let's see if I can find the name of it. So it's called Healthy Gut, Healthy You by Dr. Michael Russio. I'll put it in the show notes. This is one of the most comprehensive books. If you're having gut issues, I recommend reading this book. I got it on Kindle. It was really cheap. I don't remember how much, but it was probably like 10 bucks or something like that. And this is really cool. It goes through the entire system talking about how your gut works. Um, and then he gives you plans of how to try and fix it. So you go through step one, oh, you're fixed, okay, you're good. If not, you move to step two and so on and so forth. So I think this could be a great way for you to understand how your body works better and maybe get some more clarity on what's going on. And maybe you don't have parasites. Maybe this will be able to help you. Um, so let's see here. So I've tried everything that they suggest regularly. If you look up, you have parasites and you look at the tinctures, look at everything that you can try, garlic, onion, whatever. I've been doing that for months and it was not enough for me. So I actually started taking nettle tea for allergies. And little did I know at the time, this is actually really good for parasites. Um, I started to have stomach issues after taking this and realized it was because it was killing parasites. So I had to slowly work into that one. Um, I worked my way up to having four cups a day, and I'm now at the point where having a cup of that's not going to cause any problems. Um, I still drink it, though. Um, and then I started eating the autoimmune diet um, for paleo. So basically, it's just like regular paleo, but a little bit more crazy. So you're going to cut out like they consider to be the no foods. So I'll go through those with you guys. Um, it's basically anything that causes allergies to flare up in people um, or immune problems to flare up. So we have alcohol, eggs, coffee, grains, grain-like seeds, dairy, legumes, processed vegetable oils, processed food and chemical ingredients, um, sugars and sweeteners, sugar substitutes, nuts and seeds, nightshades, um, and spices derived from seeds. 
So that sounds like everything. It pretty much is. <laughs> um, but there's actually, I mean, I basically eat just like meat, vegetables, and a couple of fruits. So it's very easy to make meals. But basically, uh, this is a really good diet to follow. And um, they found that like every, well, I don't want to say anything. Most every uh, autoimmune disease is like people have lucky leaky gut before they get their autoimmune disease. So it's actually an indicator of an autoimmune disease. So if you can keep your like your gut healthy and strong, then you could potentially not develop an autoimmune disease that you have in your genes, which is really cool. Um, I was never diagnosed celiac, but I am either really close or I am. I just never went to go get the final test to be done. Um, let's see here. Now, I'm going to show you guys my two secret weapons, and they're both cheap, which is really, really cool. Um, first off, after reading hundreds of articles, I found a comment from somebody saying that they found out that they had parasites by eating pineapple. So I bought a huge pineapple, and I cut it up, froze it, and I made something I called the pineapple tummy tumbler. So it was a bunch of frozen pineapple into my blender. I put coconut milk, um, cinnamon, and vanilla, and I blended it up. And I drank it, and I got so sick. I was, like, my stomach was twisting around itself. It was terrible. Um, but it was really effective. Like, after that, I went to the bathroom, like, three times, and I saw liver flukes. I saw tapeworms. I saw roundworms. Like, I saw things I don't even know what they are. So it was really effective. However, um, I hate the taste of pineapple. So I, what I did is I brought, bought this stuff, bromelain. This is actually like from pineapple, and this is like the most effective thing that I've found. It's an enzyme that actually digests the parasites, so this is awesome. However, it is very uh, uncomfortable depending on where you are in this process and how bad it is. Um, when I took this, this supplement, it was awful. I was laying in bed for three hours and like nauseated beyond belief. But now after a few days of taking it, I barely notice anything. I'll kind of feel a twinge in my, you know, intestines. But before it was like I could feel, like I don't know if it was them detaching or what, but it was very painful. Um, so if you want to get it over with quick, I would suggest getting some of this. Um, but it does, it is really rough on the body. So you're going to want to, dedicate some time to do this. You're not going to want to take this before you go to work. You're going to want to take this when you have some time to be alone for like three hours. Um, and the other big thing was diatomaceous earth. This stuff is so cheap and extremely effective. It, this two pound bag was $10. I bought a five pound bag from Amazon for $15. Now you can see there's little dogs on here. Now this is food grade. This is commonly used for dogs to deworm them, so it works. Um, what it is, is it's basically little tiny fossilized zooplankton shells. Um, and these are so tiny, it's like a powder. You actually can't breathe this in because it would actually cut up your lungs because your lungs are so thin. But it's okay to take to digest it. It actually has silica in it, which is great for building collagen. So it's going to be good to help heal your gut. It's also good for your joints. Um, and your tendons and your hair your skin all that it's also great at killing parasites so this stuff is like glass for them it's going to cut up the worms and help to kill them that with the bromelain is to me like the perfect killer um i i started taking about uh, like a teaspoon of that a day and now i'm up to two tablespoons a day i'm taking one in the morning and one at night and that does cause some like brain fog for me um, and problems like concentrating and some headaches, um, but it doesn't really seem to cause any like digestive sorry <laughs> any digestive problems. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I have a lot more that I could talk about. However, I just really wanted to get this video out there and maybe help like one of you that really needs it or you know, hopefully more, but I don't know.
if there's anything else that I can help you guys with, or if you have questions and want me to go over something like a little, in a little bit more depth, I can do that for you. Um, I would actually be happy to. So thank you very much for listening, and I hope this helped you out. Thank you. Bye.